The Environmental Protection Agency and its Norwegian partners have praised the Ghana Port and Harbors Authority for its oil spill response readiness. This came up during the GPHA's participation in the National Oil Spill Equipment Inventory Exercise, which allows the EPA and its Norwegian technical partners to examine the capabilities and preparation of the country's onshore and offshore facilities and resources to deal with oil spills. Following the assessment, the EPA and its partners commended the GPHA for having human and technical resources available to fight oil spills, demonstrating its ability to prevent such disasters and reduce the spread of oil in the event of an incident within the port environment. Deputy Director of the EPA, Mr. Larry Cotio, indicated that they were highly satisfied with the GPHA's capabilities, stating that his organization had been doing yearly national exercises at the Tier 1 and Tier 2 level with the Port Authority. He lauded the GPHA's decision to acquire new capabilities in terms of response equipment, calling it a valuable asset to the country. Car Powership Ghana's management has hosted a number of engagements in Takradi in the Western region to strengthen their relationship with the media and educate them on the company's activities. The first was a sit-down chat and the second a guided tour of the Karandini's Powership Osman Khan, which is stationed at the Western Naval Command in 2nd D Takradi. The company provided critical information on the operations in Ghana, including environmental compliance, contributions to both the micro and macro economies and how their cutting-edge technology, the PASHIP, operates. During the first leg of the media engagement, the media was educated on car PASHIP Ghana's operations, including their green environmental focus, why the switch from heavy fuel oil to natural gas, their investments in the economy, which have created both direct and indirect jobs, and engaging in sustainable corporate social activities that benefit their host country and community. Ms. Sandra Amakwe, communications manager, told the media that Car Powership is committed to building and sustaining a good relationship with them while powering Ghana and touching lives. Some civil servants in Abuja have urged the federal government to take quick measures to alleviate their hardship, stating that life has been difficult since the elimination of gasoline subsidies. According to the people, the cost of living has become unbearable for those living in cities especially, requiring government action to mitigate the effects of the current conditions. Mrs. Felicia Anthony, who recounted her hardship, said she was finding it tough to deal with a slew of issues, including including children's school tuition, house rent, and most crucially, travel to work on her current pay. She called on the government to look at ways to check price control of goods and services, noting that many people were now selling anything they wanted in the name of removing gasoline subsidies. On 24th August, Japan will begin pouring over a million tons of cleaned water from the damaged Fukushima Dachi nuclear power station, a procedure that will take decades to complete. After being polluted by contact with fuel rot at the reactor, which was wrecked in an earthquake in 2011, the water was distilled. Tanks at the facility now carry over 1.3 million tons of radioactive water, which is enough to fill 500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. TEPCO has filtered the polluted water to eliminate isotopes, leaving just tritium, a radioactive hydrogen isotope that is difficult to separate. Before pumping the water into the ocean from the coastal location, TEPCO will dilute it until tritium levels fall below regulatory limits. Visit energyghanamagazine.com for more on these stories. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by Airport View Hotel. Energy Ghana TV, local in focus, global in perspective.